Okay, 10 seconds on the clock. This is the Batman. It's a workout that I wrote quite some time ago. It is maybe four or five months coming. It starts off with a 495 pound deadlift. That is five plates on the bar. I'll talk more about that in a second, but it goes from the 495 deadlift on over to the 405 back squat, on over to the 315 bench press, to the 225 power snatch, into 10 unbroken ring muscle ups, into 100 unbroken double unders. This workout I wrote on the board. Right behind the stack of weights on the right side of the barbell that I just squatted, you can see some writing on the board. That is the Batman. If you follow the channel, I brought it up. Somewhere in the past, maybe you guys will remember that because it's like, hey, I'm gonna release this workout called the Batman, but I only wanna release it once I can do it. I also stated that as soon as I could do it, I would. If you've been following as well, you'll know that I've been dealing with an elbow injury. I've been going along with California hormones. I went and got that injection in my elbow. It's been feeling really fucking good, and I wanted to hold myself to the, as soon as I can do my workout, I am going to do my workout. That being said, I am moving at a snail's pace. A couple of reasons for that are, I haven't been as active as I would like to have been. I am moving through these head. It's actually incredible that I can do it. If you've also been following, which is now the third time that I've said it, you know that I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. These are all lifts where Maybe at my absolute peak, there are 85 to 88% of my one rep maxes, which is pretty freaking heavy. I have a lifetime best deadlift of 615, a lifetime best back squat of 490 pounds, a lifetime best bench press of 375 pounds, my best power snatch is 250. I've done 35 unbroken ring muscle ups and I've done 300 unbroken double unders. So all of these things right here, we're very much in the realm of capability with like peak performance, Andrew but I've been putting this workout off for some time because of the whole elbow situation. Namely, the muscle up was a motherfucker to try to do the power snatch. I didn't trust throwing the weight overhead and the bench press actually is something that's incredibly challenging. So you'll notice that I'm pausing still even as I'm doing it, but I can do it. So I did it and this is my best effort going forward. It's going to be my test as I've been doing the whole testosterone replacement therapy thing, everyone's like, you need to have benchmarks, workout benchmarks. And I was like, well, I really can't put my best foot forward because I can't fucking do anything. Well, I can now do this. I'll have a time on this. I anticipate doing it again in about two to three months. And I think that I'm going to blow this freaking thing out of the water because you can see that even after this first round, I'm moving kind of slow and it doesn't speed up from here. Now, the inspiration for this workout, I actually had a couple of people wander through the garage. So the people who have wandered through the garage have seen the Batman wrote, written on the board. And they're like, what the fuck is this thing? One lift of each, like one deadlift, one back squat, one bench press, one power or power snatch. And they're like, why would you do this? Like no one's going to be able to do this. In my head, it reminds me of King Kong a little bit. It's something where you see Froning do it, you see him smoke it, and that's very cool. That was a series of deadlifts, cleans, handstand push-ups, and ring muscle-ups. I believe it was like four, three, two, one, somewhere, somehow of those, maybe it was four, of, or maybe it was one deadlift, and then two ring muscle-ups, three handstand push-ups, and four cleans at 250 pounds, something like that, that's King Kong. And then there was also Godzilla. This is the Batman, it's something where I think people would look at it and say, oh my God, but wait a minute, maybe if I work towards it, I could do it at some point in my life ever. This is not meant to be something where you're going to go and do it, or I don't want to get a whole bunch of people to be able to do it. It's not like doing friend as your first workout and you can do it in 20 or 30 minutes. I want to put it outside of the realm of possibility for a lot of people, but it is something where you can put a stamp on it and say, I did it, cool. When I finish this workout up, I'm like, I did it, cool. I also understand that People might want to do it, and at the end of this video, I have a Robin version, quote unquote. So it's like Batman and Robin. It's just uh, the, the weights are tiered down a little bit. I'll plug them in all at the end. What you'll see is that squat was a little bit easier than the first one. I don't know why. Um, every single lift tends to look a little bit smoother as it goes on, but the heart rate is up from having done the ring muscle ups into the double unders. I talked about inspiration on this workout. Something that I'm really trying to do is I am trying to make CrossFit a bigger and better place. And with that, some of the criticisms of CrossFitters is that they aren't strong. You'll have somebody in the powerlifting community or just maybe even an average gym goer 
they'll look at this and they'll go, five plates on the deadlift, four plates on the back squat, three plates on the bench press bar, and two plates on this snatching movement, which the snatching movement for most of them is going to be outside of the realm of capability. You might need to be an Olympic weightlifter or just someone who has quite the exposure to CrossFit. I remember at the affiliate level, a 225 snatch is something for many males is something that you work your way towards, maybe even for your longevity of CrossFit. It's not something that's easy for a lot of people to do. And it's something that requires skill, coordination, and flexibility. And I happened to bunch that up right next to the bench press, one, because the numbers look neat, and two, because when going from that bench press into that power snatch, you'll notice that my reps look like dog shit. Do that heavy bench, it really tightens up your chest, you're short there, so when you go to put the bar overhead, it's even more challenging. The ring muscle ups, CrossFit or gymnastics are going to be what's required to be able to do 10 of these unbroken every single time. Wander on in, maybe you can do the deadlift, the bench press, the back squat, and maybe by the grace of God, you can throw 225 over your head, maybe you muscle snatch it because you're someone like, I don't know, Chris Bumstead or Half Thor, the mountain who can deadlift over a thousand pounds, throw 225 over your head. That guy, however, I bet can't do 10 unbroken ring muscle ups. And let's say you could do 10 unbroken ring muscle ups. Everyone who's done CrossFit knows how the double under went. I don't think that it's going to be too much of a reach to say 100 unbroken double unders is something that you could not do on your first day. From my experience, my first open, open, open workout was 14.1, which was 30 double unders, and I think it was 10 power snatches at 75 for the men and 55 for the women. It was an AMRAP, maybe 10 minute AMRAP, and it was a huge success for me to be able to do the 30 double unders unbroken on any of those rounds, let alone as many rounds as you could. And that took me two or three months to get to the point where I could do 30 unbroken every single time, but then 30 became 50, 50 became 100, and 100 wasn't something where it was for sure put your foot in the ground and said, I can do 100 unbroken every time. Look at the Wadapalooza workouts this past weekend for the teams. You were trying to do 100, 200, 300 double under. Some people were doing those unbroken. So this with 100 right here is something where as a CrossFitter, there are a lot of people that you probably personally know who can do 100 unbroken double unders. There are a lot of people you know personally who can do 10 unbroken ring muscle ups, maybe even more, 15, 20, or 30 unbroken ring muscle ups. Those people likely also don't have the 495 pound deadlift, the 405 pound back squat, the 315 pound bench press, and the 225 power snatch. It's only people like, I was listening to the Nick Matthew podcast today, and he said he was going to smoke and thought he could possibly win the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 box jump over back squat workout at the Rogue Invitational this weekend because the dude has a 500 pound, maybe triple back squat, so the back squats are good for him. Uh, he also has a 600 pound deadlift and a very heavy bench press, but he comes from a powerlifting background. You'll have, remember he did very well at the skill event and the sandbag lift of the CrossFit Games. It's a very unique individual that I think can actually do this workout. Because the bench press is in there, it might hold up quite a few people. Like I said, I'm pausing on it. I have a lifetime best bench press of 375 pounds. I'm on TRT and that's something that is helping me quite a bit. I don't know how I can just like do these things. It's not something that I thought I'd be able to do, but I was warming up and I'm like, I'm gonna put every single weight in my garage onto four different barbells and give it a rip and see what I can do. This is my third round of three into the bench press. You'll notice that I do pause on the chest because I don't wanna go through that rapid change of direction under the load on the elbow. So that little pause right there, just make sure that I can not blow my elbow out as I'm going through that. Rack it up, no clips on that bar, just in case I were to fail, I'm by myself in here. Also, had the chest shortened, so I'm going to grab some chalk, chalk up the hands so that I make sure I don't miss this power snatch. And while the power snatch, like if you miss it, the workout isn't over, that might be like a cool twist to throw in. If you miss any of the lifts, it's over and you have to restart. So it puts a giant strain on the entire thing. The entire time I'm doing this workout, I'm thinking about that last set of 100 double unders and like, I'm like, all right, I know I'm gonna have the muscle ups in my back pocket. Snatch is done, cool, I didn't miss any snatches. It didn't look great, but I didn't miss any. But the double unders are gonna come in there and wouldn't it be a bitch if I were to miss a double under, like the last set of 100. It would have sucked to also have missed in like the first 100 or the second 100, but I guess at which rate I could have just restarted the workout or I don't know, maybe just restarted the set of double unders depending on how far in I was. But 
These muscle ups, I was very happy with. I haven't done anything over a set of, I think, eight in the past however many months. Also since writing this workout down on the board. If I had to give a date, I think I created this workout on the 26th of April. And I know because I had a certain individual come on in and say, this workout's stupid. Like no one's gonna be able to do it. And I go, yeah, it's kind of the point. King Kong, Godzilla, the Batman. It's very hard. I don't wanna just make it achievable for anyone who wants to do it. I don't wanna make it one of those workouts where you're trying to go as fast as you can. Like Fran, I want you to be able to go fast at a certain point. But if you're going fast, you also have to have earned the right to do the movements. So here we go on the double unders. Uh, 100 unbroken. There aren't very many workouts like that. I also have been giving the date because the unbroken thing right here is something that I came up with before the CrossFit Games. I need to find that clip. Maybe I can do that after I create all of this talking on this video. But in the CrossFit Games, you know, they had 100 unbroken single unders. And that is what took out Tia Tumi and Brooke Wells, I think, from the first round of that skill medley, medley with the P-bar traverse and the pegboard ascent. 100 double unders unbroken is something that a lot of people can do, but when you put it in there, it's kind of freaking stressful. Like you're worried about missing the entire time. And what are we at, 11.06? And I'm gonna let you know that at 87 repetitions, I miss. So I only had 13 left, there it is. Idiot. Yeah, I had freaking 13 repetitions left and you gotta restart. And when you gotta restart, now I'm asking myself, it's like, all right, I gotta do 100 unbroken. And I haven't done anything over 200 double unders in quite some time. My calves are starting to blow up. Is it going to be an issue of I'm going to lose track of how I feel, the sensations in my calves? Am I not gonna be jumping in alignment with how I'm tw went, uh, spinning the rope? I've done the entire workout essentially. I don't want it to be for not at this point. For the love of God, let me do these un double unders unbroken. So try to keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the hands low, keep the rope moving in coordination with the feet. This time, I can assure you that I do make it through this set of double unders. I look at the splits of the workout being two and 245 to three minutes on the first round. So this workout will be achievable in under nine minutes, so long as I have the confidence moving through the movements, uh, notably the bench press and the power snatch. And then if I don't, of course, miss a double under. And then of course, if I also try to move a little bit quicker, knowing that it is also able to be done. Because up until that point, I didn't know that it was able to be done. Batman wearing the no rep shirt looks a lot like the logo in the beginning of it. That was a coincidence. We don't believe in coincidences, but that was indeed a coincidence. I just like one day walked into the garage, looked at the board and go, you know what? I think I can give this a rip. I said I would do the Batman as soon as I thought that I could do it. Holding myself to what I told myself I would do. Here's all the weights, the steel 45s, not something you see very often. I actually think it might be the first time that I've used them in the garage. And there's the 495 pound deadlift bar. And that's it. That's the freaking Batman. I'm gonna create an infographic here so it's like this is the Batman, this is the Robin, or maybe it'll be this is the Batman and this is the Robin, but we're gonna have both of them listed right here. If I were to tell anyone to do this, I'd probably say get a buddy because loading up the barbells took longer to do than the actual workout took to do. I think I got into the garage at like 110 and I started the workout at 150, so it was a 40 minute setup process. Maybe a couple of you and your buddies on a Saturday. Line it up. I'll also have the female weight listed on here so if any of the females want to try it out up until recently i thought that the bench press would be a struggle with the females that is until the females beat all of the males on my most recent bench press challenge so the batman's still on the board right there but now i can erase it and i just gotta you know train let the trt take its course along with the training that i need to be putting in a little bit more regularly and i'll give this thing a go in about another two months let's watch some rogue invitational and riller out <laughs>